A lot of people make a connection between technology and entrepreneurship, and I, I think the core uh, connection is about innovation. It's about solving problems or doing things that couldn't be done. And part of part of what drives technology is not so much people who want to to make the next app or to be the next uh, billionaire in the technology space, but it's they're trying to solve technical problems, and that's what drives. You know, it's like how much can I get on this little flash drive? Is a, a mathematical problem about space and usage and media and materials, and 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 so that's what drives. It. If you think about an entrepreneur, they're trying to solve problems too. They're they're connecting dots and making things. And so in both of these, it's it's driven by an innovation spirit. One of the challenges for school, if we think schools are going to become innovation centers, right now we have no evidence to suggest that anything schools are doing is innovative because what we're doing is transmis- transmitting what grandma and grandpa knew. And, and so they're not too much innovative. And when I put a whiteboard on the wall and now I use that to mark and use the computer, that's not particularly innovative either. So it really is a challenge for society if we say, how do we grow the entrepreneurial spirit? Where will you get that? We're not getting it in K-12 and we're not getting it very much in higher ed. And so that's really a source for, for government and for ministry to think about. So this is a very challenging uh, question for, for government and for policy about what will it take to, to make the change and get us to a place where innovation is prized and valued and we can do more of it. And again, hopefully what we'll see is more entrepreneurial um, curricula and ways to engage kids.